Wow! Howdy, howdy, y'all. I. Wow! Uh, so welcome back. Welcome. How's it going? Where fucking. Oh, I still got my slingshot that I can't aim. So I can't move the camera. So we're here in like a dream while we're on a boat, snail, trying to leave uh, one town. One, one, one bird. <sighs> We're having a spooky little dream here. Hello, even. Your home. It's where you belong. Uh, odds in trouble. Odds in trouble. Trouble is odd. At least she'll be. A sixer. A wanna is a wanna. 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 Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? I don't want a tea. We need to go see Odd. Why do you need to see her? We've seen her before. Listen to your mother, even. It's not safe. We need to go. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, even. I can't. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires what? are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The queen will find you. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that. If I go up here. Into the pot. What? Do I go in the pot? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, gamers. They never... I don't think they... They were denying you your future. Dropping <gasps> you of your true destiny. You're finally home. God, her design is so fucking good. All her designs are so fucking cool. Three heads, they're watching. Next up, huh? Safe. Yes, this even is lost sight of Herman. This she is knew. safe. She had also lost sight of her last connection to home. Yep. Okay, still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, can you not swim, even? To remember, I don't know how to swim. She hoped. Desperately, she, she can't swim. We're near six town, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her, indeed. Ah! Well, she didn't drown. That's good. Love not drowning. Whoa. 
But where is this place? One craft. That's what it's called. Okay, let's look around for treasures. Let's look around for treasures. Shoot. Dark Souls. Dodge roll. Don't like the look of that. She couldn't yet understand it. It even had landed in the middle of something exceptional. Yeah, hey, I don't like These that. The ruins of a time long past, and the magic she could almost sense in the air wasn't about to give up its secrets that easily. Hmm. Yeah. Hell yeah. 310 coins. Do you know what I can do with that? Nothing yet, but soon. I must be the first person to come here in decades. Yeah. Um Fuck. Oh, so many coins. Sweet, delicious coins. Uh oh. I don't like the look of that guy. <gasps> Dice. Oh, I don't like the look of that. Oh, no. Um What's that do? Uh oh. And then he even got crushed to death. And then the robot got to die. And then it died. Such is life. Uh, hey, um, are, are you okay? Hey, where's the captions for this? Thank you. 
okay? Uh, well, thanks for saving me back there. You were really... Oh, well... Hurrah. Oops. Right. Okay. Talking to a dice. I better get going. You should too. This place is really dangerous. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, um, I mean, I guess you can tag along. Uh, the more the merrier, right? Okay, even keep it together. I'm talking to a dice now, even. And to yourself. Also, it's a die. That's one thing I hate about this game. That's one. That's one thing. That's a pet peeve of mine. Is when people refer to a singular die as a dice. Nice. Not a trap. from people. Ugh, fine. You could hold on to them, I guess. Just don't digest them. Yeah. I'm always saying that. So I really like the combat system of this game. Um, with throwing dice, you get card tokens equal to the result. They're shown in the upper right corner of the screen. Use card tokens to activate your cards. Leave the dice mentioned by attacking something or by pressing Y. It was clear that these were no ordinary cards, and Dicey was no ordinary dice. Something extraordinary was awakening. So while I'm in the dice mansion, I can run around and do whatever I want. Everything's paused. And I can play these cards. Like this one that gives me a sword. Dicey, maybe leave with that next time. And then I can go like pow, 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 pow. So let's upgrade the sword. With each movement, the girl and her dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ow. Dark Souls, baby. But yeah, I really like this game. Even if you didn't understand what was happening to her and her dice friend, but she didn't need to, for there was another, more obvious truth that she understood completely. She was truly and inarguably kicking robot. What? Hell yeah. Love to kick robot butt. Robot. Oh, cards? Oh, I wonder what these do. Listen, we're an incredible team, and as long as I'm going to be talking to you, I should probably know your name. Uh huh, right. Well, how about if I just call you Dicey? Perfect. Well, 
Let's see if we can find a way out of this place. Dicey. I I would have gone with like DD Zip. But that's just me. What's that? Oh shit, those are robots. Uh oh. Thank you for the lurk, Tall Panzer! We love lurkers here. Slumbered in this long forgotten world. We love a lurker. Become interesting. And that was seldom good. Okay. Uh, full hand. Let's throw. Even in dice. Sword. Better sword. Even in dicey, we're moving as one, an unstoppable fighting machine. Ow, ow. Hell yeah! Fuck you, robots! Yeesh. Blink dodge. Yeah, okay. Hell yeah! Fuck you, robots! Boom! Uh oh, my sword broke! Get a sword just for the hell of it. <laughs> Boom. And kaboom. this way hey what's this way money 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 it's like something out of mom's drawings money money Money. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, uh, well, no need to be rude. Are the other dice here asleep? Wait, they're wielding for their own dice wielder? Calm down, what happened at this place? Um... We won't move until the right dice wielder comes? I guess I'm a dice wielder now. Can I help? May not be your dice wielder, but I can still be helpful. Um, 
Well, I hope that one day someone will come for you too. I have a feeling we could both use some good luck right now. One, huh? We can turn that into two. And then we can take out a bow. And shoot some chuds. Uh oh. Uh oh. What we got? Uh, let's get more arrows. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Why are you turning away? Bow is not very strong. I see. Woo! What we got? What we got? One. Uh, let's turn that into two, and go for the sword. Upgrade the sword, cause you know what they say. Everyone wants a sword. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Owned and stomped. I have so many coin. Wait, is there any more things to shoot? No. Uh oh. These colossi were indeed colossal. Things were looking grim. No way, I got this. Uh yeah. And while I know it's always disappointing when you what you thought was a novel turns out to be a very short story, all I can do <laughs> is apologize. Get that energy. Oh, that wasn't enough? Um... Bonk. Haha, <laughs> get exploded, idiot. That would be a great time if I had a sword. Right 
Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Two points. Okay. Bonk. And now, stab, stab, stab you in the head. Stab, stab, stab you in the head. Stab. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, I can roll without a full hand. Well, I'd love to use that, but... Ow. Stab you in the butt. Stab, stab you in the butt. Stab you in the butt. Stab, stab you in the butt. Stab you in the butt. Look, stab you in the butt. Dead. Ooh, that one's a good one. All right, I see. You're you're quite something. I'm on a mission of revenge. Um, the queen. She kidnapped my sister, Dicey. Um, you can say that again, but I've actually got a few questions. Uh, how does all that stuff come out of your head, Dicey? Wow, you must be so spacious inside. Uh, hey, you seem to be missing some dots. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry to break to you, buddy. So first we need to find some pips. Uh, we'll find that dice repairman somewhere. Uh, what was your real name again? And for those who don't speak Dicean, is there a short form? Perfect. I knew I had a good feeling about Dicey. So what is this place? Uh, the Valley of the Dice, huh? I always thought the Queen's Dice was the only one. Um, maybe we both chose each other without knowing it. What about all those piggyback rides? Oh, so that's when you're ready to be thrown? Good to know you don't mind it. Yeah, you were all like, shwoo, and the robots were like, boom. Okay, we should get going. Um. I like that popping sound. 
Uh, yeah, you and me gonna bring back the random. In random. Even and Dicey finally had a moment to catch their breath. Take a breather and... Dicey, wait! Ah, uh, never mind. Uh oh. This seems bad. Yeah, no expert, but that seems bad. I love this outfit. what Sixers wear. Trash Cyclops would be a sick fucking band. Fuck him up, Bob. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What is going on here? The other kids, they they said I was a filthy one off. She is! She's not a sixer like us. Oh, ho, ho. the dice doesn't lie, children. Yeah, but, but she was just lucky. She's a wanna. You can smell it on her. Oh, you think you're smarter than the black dice? Um, uh, I mean, no. I, I just. Oh, so now you're saying she is a sixer after all. So you lied to me. Either way. I mean... Lying should be punished or don't you agree? You don't have to, I was just... Yeah. Oh, now there's no... Bro, I'm in the brig. Everything's fair or nothing is! Uh-oh. Also, I don't think that's how that works. I don't think either everything's fair or nothing is. That seems... stupid. Uh, a Off to the garbage for you. I'm not garbage. Well, agree to disagree, love. Uh. What's this? Lunchbox? <laughs> a living lunchbox. <laughs> Go! Out one tube into another. Also, how could that guy tell I was a wanner? We're here. Let's see where here is, Dicey. The 
The gate of two. Even had a feeling. Call it a hint that a new friend Dicey would be able to open that door for her. All it would take would be a roll or two. Hmm. <gasps> Two. Hell yeah. Look, it's that ghost again. Yes, I was just going to say that. But what did it want? Yeah, bud. When it comes to the new moon, I'm of two minds, and they both love it. Okay. Can you just have a new moon? Like an. You're new in town, aren't you? Welcome. Welcome to Two Town. We're all number one at being number two. So many coins, so many coins. Good morning, world. It's a beautiful day, my favorite kind. Hmm. Any second now. I suppose you can't have the sweet without the sour. Yeah. <clears throat> Attention to town. Now hear this. The queen is wrong. I repeat, the queen is wrong. Her will is now manifest. Long may she reign. Random rules. Oh, a two! What a delightful! <laughs> Way to make a perfectly awful day even worse. Oh, that's me, Another bud. Another dreary day, everyone. Just muddle through this horrid life until death finally claims us. That's a mood. Hey, that's relatable. Cellar Street, Two Way Street, Two Town Square. Okay, well, sounds like I'm going this way, no matter what. Sounds like if it's Two Town, there's only one way to go. <laughs> this way or that way. You don't belong here. Oh, what are you looking at? Sorry? You had me. We've got enough problems here without strange weirdos wandering around town. There's nothing wrong with weird. Just keep telling yourself. Weird's that. just a setting on my dryer. Tell yourself that you're not missing anything by having just one person. Turns out. everything green. I seen you when the dice got rolled. You didn't change a bit. That tells us you're not from two town. I reckon you're a wanna, and you don't belong here. Okay. Well, it seemed to go fuck yourself. Two sides to every story, especially here in Two Town, where even the residents seem to be of two minds. Swag. Um. 
Yo. <gasps> Manny. Manny, my boy. Cards, cards, I got cards here, the greatest cards in the land, from my body to your hands. Wait, is your body a store? Yes, but was I born with a store for a body, or did I somehow force my body to become a store? Well, you'll never know, because you'll become instantly distracted by all of the fantastic cars I have to sell. <laughs> oh, I can tell you've got an eye for cards. Always terrific to meet another card of saw. <laughs> Manny Dex, at your service. I definitely have an interest in cards. Naturally! You know, I've often been heard to remark that life is like cards. It's not so much the cards you've got, but how you play them, yeah? <laughs> Plus, life is also small, cheap, and random, and yet utterly enchanting. All my right cards, in it? Now, this is a card and since business is slow, I'm going to do you a solid, mate. Old Manny Dex is going to give you a lovely binder to hold your cards in. Hold the house. <gasps> nice. I just need to teach you how to use it. Wow! Oops, wrong button. This is a card body. You can expect to add your cards, your deck of cards. Hover over a card, <sighs> whatever. We'll generate your card description consisting of title, effects, and card type. There are five card types. Weapon, damage, defense, hazard, and cheat. This is your inventory. This is where the cards that are not currently in your deck are located. This is your deck. Cards you bring into battle are listed here. If the deck has less than 15 cards, it will automatically be filled with cards from your inventory. Right now you want less than 15 cards, but once you have 16 or more, you can start customizing your deck. Uh-huh. Now then, what with that shiny new binder with all those blank pages in it, you're probably in the market for some new cards, eh? Well, good news! It just so happens I've got the greatest cards in the land from my body to your hands. Ha <laughs> ha! I got the best prices too. Um, where do you get your cards? Where do I? Oh, mate, if I tell you my sources, what's to stop you from turning your body into a store and setting up a competing shop, eh? Oh, I asked you. Biology? <laughs> yeah, good one, mate. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't tell you the provenance of my cards. Just that they're an amazing deal. Best in random, only in random. Is everyone in your family a store? Is everyone in my family a store, you ask? Honestly, I think the answer to that is pretty obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Yes? Glad you agree. Then we both agree the answer to that question is pretty obvious. Were you born like this, or is this a choice? Mate, we're all born one way, and we all decide what we want to do with that. I was born with an interest in trading cards and decided to absolutely lean into my interest in trading cards. All the way, mate. <laughs> Hell yeah, bud. <laughs> no regrets. Um, seriously, I have many questions about your body. Shoot. How did you get in there? <laughs> Why? How did you get in yours? 
I like to shop for cards. Welcome to the card store. There's not much to look at here at the moment. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Um. Let's get some damage. <gasps> nice. Wonderful. See that coin counter to the right. Um, if a coin spent fills up the counter when it's full, you choose a new pack of cards. Blah blah blah. Um. I'd love to get the hammer of two, but I don't have, I can't roll a three. So it seems silly. Um. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's go for cheat. What's this one? Kind of garbo. Kind of garbo. Oh wait, I don't have money. So. Feedback. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, yeah. Even was beginning to learn a lot about this new part of random. Could not, unfortunately, how to escape it. Lol. The door was locked. Perhaps someone nearby was in possession of a key. Is it you? Have you seen the upside down town? I'm building it. Cool. The upside down town? The flipped city in the sky. You can't miss it. It's not just me, of course. Lots of construction jobs up there. That whole site was designed by Her Royal Highness, the Queen. It's the ultimate expression of two towns. <laughs> Name's Smokey, by the way. Nice to meet you, Smokey. So there's two two towns now? That's it. That's exactly it. Everything must have its other half. It's only natural. Some I don't think the that's upside downtown a mere distraction. A I don't minor think that's true. Of the queen designed simply to keep us all busy. You know what those people are called? Correct. Ha! Good one. No, they're traitors. They're obviously traitors. It's the <laughs> ultimate expression. They're obviously what traitors. traitors. Two cities in one. Yeah. Yeah, sure, bud. Also, city in the sky. I don't see no city in the sky. It's the Queen's royal robot guards. She had to think fast. She had to roll the dice. Full hand, throw it. And we get a one. Well,
fuck? Uh oh. Oh, come on. That should have hit. Full hand throw. Got a bubble. Shit, that's the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I meant to pin, but I hit the button to leave the dice mention. Fuck. Give me the bubble again. Um. Pen. That's the button to pen. Okay. Oh fuck, that's not where I wanted that. Whatever. It don't matter. Hey guy, why don't you get over here? Or you can just die over there. Like a little bitch. Come on, losers. Go over here. This bomb. Kablooey. Kablamo. Get kastabbed. Um, can we get something good? Um, let's, get, let's just get Crystal Curse. Crystal Curse is very powerful. Bada bing, bada boom! Bada bang, bada bong. Bronze ornamented creature who's sworn its life to unlock one particular lock. Hey, the key is alive? It's kind of fucked up. Oh, it seems like it's gotta be. It's gotta be something, right? Oh. No, that's just for looks. Figured for sure there'd be a thing to shoot. Huh. Ah uh, well. Do do do. We love things in two town. Two towns really great. What's up here in two town? Hey, you, community. Hello. 
Who are you? Question's not who I am, love. It's who you're with. That six-sided fella by your side. Tell me about him. Uh, he's a dog in a costume. That ain't no dog. I think you got one of them dice by your side. No. See, most people wouldn't recognize him no more. They've been extinct for so long. Banned by the queen. She's got a terrifying black The only one left in all the land. I've seen it. Or so she thinks. <gasps> I've no idea what I, what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Having a dice is treason, after all. Be careful out there, love. There might not be many of us left who know what you're up to. But you can't fool everyone all of the time. See you around, kid. So, it does speak. And with the ancient dice tongue. Uh huh. How intriguing. Uh, since you're so well read in dice, you probably know what kind of hell they can unleash. Oh. <laughs> Feisty little one, ain't ya? No need to fret in the curious. Do say I to the queen once she does find you. Hmm? <laughs> okay. I'll kick her ass. I don't know, Dicey. But I didn't like her one bit. Dicey, over there! Um. Oh, do I gotta do it reverse -y? Do I gotta, you know, reverse it? Yeah! Makes sense. This is two town. I gotta do things twice. Woo! Storybook page! I'm EP gamers. Do you know how EP I am? So EP. Manny. Been built a bad hand, have you? Oh, never mind. Trade it in for a new one with me, old Manny Dex. Oh, Manny Dex. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right, unlock it. Crispy twigs? Kids love crispy twigs? Crispy twigs, you say? Answer your question? Yes. Business is slow. I was going to ask if I could have some crispy twigs. Look at this motherfucker. So cool looking. So cool looking. Sock two packs. One for each of you. It's the perfect pair. The perfect pair. Oh. <laughs> No, thank you. I want super juice. I want a pet. 
What are your pets? Oh. Are you okay? No, I'm stuck. Artist block. I trade my gobbledygook for a flash of inspiration. Oh. Mm. I'm through Pipkin, by the way. I am an artist, but not with paints or music. My art is the art of trading, and I want to yes, push the art of course. forward. Trading Gubble Gregors is so routine. Tell me about it. Something that hasn't been traded before. Say, you wouldn't be willing to trade for that costume your friend is wearing, are you? No, stay away from him. I figured. Probably wouldn't fit too many folks anyway. Plus, people have traded costumes before. If you ever have anything to trade, you'll come see me, right? Especially something unusual. Sure thing. Excellent. Keep your eyes peeled. Help! Help! I'm being attacked by robots. Oh no! I got a fifty percent off sale. That's twice as cheap as normal. Um. Dog's costume right out of the game. The heart of Dude Town was even greater and bigger and scarier than in the most outlandish stories she'd heard the Junkers tell in one Grove. Where's the. Yeah, over here. What we got? What we got? See that? And sword, and then. More damage on the sword! Ow. Oh, bad time to run out of durability on that sword. Ah. Um, that one's free, so let's do that. Explode. Boom, and come on, one more, one more. Where's you? Yeah, baby. My bacon there, kid. You're welcome. Look, let me repay you with a deal. I'm looking to trade a weird looking four sided skull for a gobble -gregor. That'll be just the thing I need to gobble -greg my way out of future robot trouble. What do you say, kid? What's a gobble -gregor? You don't know what a gobble -gregor is? Ah, forget it then, kid. But, you know, do come back if by any chance you happen to find one. Okay.
forgot there's a sprint button. Yeah, I completely forgot this game has a sprint button. Okay, so... That was a fun... That was a fun little side venture. Back at Solar Street. My stock is twice as good as the competition. They've recently made their stock twice as good. So, mine is twice as twice as good. <laughs> nice. Get your food here. I've only had dice described to me, kid, but that costume is dead on. Me. Huh. I love the upside down town. It's a whole second to town. It sure is. Lots of people do. And I can't stand them. I hate that stupid thing. It's a huge mistake. It's quite the change in opinion. I have always been consistent in this. It sucks. By which I mean, it rules! You're changing personalities much faster than the others. Yeah, that's kind of my whole thing. But one thing will always remain consistent. My love for the upside downtown. It's beautiful and great and... I hate it. Worst idea we ever had. Brilliant in both conception and execution. A disaster in waiting that will make everyone happy to die one day so that they can escape this horrible monster city and then go to heaven which will be exactly like the new upside downtown uh-huh uh-huh um you know it's okay to find something just okay you know my doctor said the same thing the getting so overwhelmed with the upside downs of this world all the time wasn't good for me. I called him an insensitive low roller and left. But maybe this time I should listen. That is such a creative dice costume. No Thanks. way, Ronaldo. Are you seeing this? What's a dice? Words for sale. Who wants to buy a word? Here's one for free. Syzygy. Um, okay. Can I... Okay, bye. To Town Square. Get in there, Dicey. Give me them sweet, sweet coins. Hello. Can I interest you in a potion? Yes. Sure. Wait a minute. I don't know you. I only sell potions to my regular customers. I don't give out my art willy-nilly. Oh. You're not from around here, are you? Um. You must feel lost. It would be logical to give her a summary of the town that she finds herself in. I was getting to that. Jeez. <clears throat> it would be logical of me to give you a summary of the town you find yourself in. As you may have noticed, we're big into duality here. Even yeah. though it's not unsubstantial downsides. By the card makers, I'm speaking, Jorid. Is this normal? Split personality, though ours is more unfortunate than most. Jared and I don't agree on very much these days. Uh, you're in business together? Yes, though more by necessity than choice. Don't tell him, but 
My business partner lacks the imagination necessary to... Imagination? You're a mad scientist! You lack the business um, acumen! Or even the base One second. I'm going to go Don't grab some with me, beverage. As you can see, Jorid and I are in conflict a lot. So, be right back. We different things in, in business, in life, in love. In that some of us don't want love because it's an illogical distraction. And some of us I hope you enjoy a bad kissy. noise. Also, we are at loggerheads so with the direction of our business. But not for long, I am working on a problem to decide this once and for all. A potion? Yes, a potion to decide who is in charge. Whoever drinks it will be the leader once and for all, regardless of what the dice say. Which will be me. You misspoke. As anyone could clearly see, that I am intended to be the one in charge. If you simply reason it out, you'll see that, you know what? I have had it with your condescending and your precious logic an emotional and frankly embarrassing response dare i say cringe worthy uh, you cringe enjoy talking cringe I'm bud out of here. la 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 can't hear you la 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 can't hear you ah we have a few moments of privacy there is one thing that potion i mentioned i need ingredients to finish it and I'm afraid time is of some matter because my partner is working on a similar potion. One that will lock me out for good. It's <sighs> logical, therefore, that I finish my potion first. So if you would be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I would appreciate it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can barely hear you with these fingers in my ears, but that sounded like a yes. Excellent. I require three blues. Unremarkable organisms distinguished by their loud screams. Of course. Well, sounds, and you'll find them. And don't worry about harvesting them for my experiments. My research indicates that it is actually quite ethical and logical for me to do this. Naturally. What if bloobs don't want to become soup? I assure you it makes no difference to them. They loathe their existence all the same. All Same. I require is that you find three bloobs for me, and I'll have all that I need. Oh, and there's a mighty reward in it for you. I do like a mighty because reward. It's highly intriguing, and if I were you, I'd go find those bloobs promptly. Farewell, kind stranger. He's gone, yeah? I mean, he's still right there. No, no, he's, he's gone. We can talk in private. Uh, listen, before you go, that potion that we're working on. I need ingredients first to finish it, because as soon as he gets control again, my partner is going to invent a potion to lock me out for good. There's no uh -huh. him. It's logical. So, you know, if you'd be so kind as to find what I need before that happens, I'd it's be three blooms. much obliged. Uh, I'll do it. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'll need three blues, same as him, but you need to give them to me. Oh, and uh, there's a reward in it for you. I know, it's so intriguing. If I were you, I'd go find those ingredients to discover what it is. <laughs> okay. Money. Card up my sleeve, in my chest, up my nose, up me well, everywhere. Let's go. <laughs> and lo, did the number two come to random, and lo, it was good. Cool. Oh dear, do I ever shut up? And lo, did the number two inspire all to break um. The door to three town. The, the door to the three town. No, no rule of a three would open it. But Evan's friend was one dot short. 
He could only roll a one and a two. And he mm -hmm. would have to find a way to upgrade him. Strange. What's up with these little guys? They're pips. I wonder if they can fix you. Uh oh. Well, you have died and defeat all enemies. It's that simple. You're stuck in a giant moon game. This is a special type of encounter where, in order to win, you must complete the objective. The goal of this board game is simple bring a playing piece to the end tile. Rolling dice, see the playing piece will take an amount of steps equal to the roll's result as soon as you unfreeze time. When the playing piece lands on a tile, a slow time bubble will spawn there. Any adversaries or projectiles caught inside will be slowed down. Treasure bird. Should we make it drop treasure? I, I like treasure. Such good music. Um, let's pin that. Let's sword that. Come on. Dicey was affecting a giant board game. Here comes more treasure. Where's this treasure bird? Fuck. Holy shit! Bubble that slows time as a beard. Treasure bird! Incoming treasure birds! Incoming treasure birds! I think my first playthrough I didn't get a single treasure bird here. Oh fuck. He's got a gun! Is it? Shit. I need to roll a lot more. Uh, 
Um... What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, but I'm not at the end yet. Come on, two. Oh, fuck. Okay, I just need to roll once more. Like it that you shot me with a gun. It's fucked up and rude. Okay. Now I can just kill them. Bada bing, bada boom. I win. Um. Yeah. If a board game piece is pressing, it moves one additional title, then draw a new card. Roll it! I can't win, but... The door wouldn't open until Dicey had a third pip. Which was good, because it saved me from having to repeat myself. Again, the door won't open unless Dicey has a third pip. Which he does not. Right. Um, I do want that. Um, let's go for cheat. Man, he's got what you need. Raise his stakes with a new card. You dang little blue critter. Oh, you got blue problems? That noise. I need blues. I'm trying to sleep. That blabbed bloob is up on my roof making a ruckus. What can I do? Lady, you'd do an old man's heart good if you could see your way to clearing those dang bloobs off my roof. All I want to do is nap. Mood, bud. I've spent Same. I was awake than anyone, 
and I deserve some moments of blessed unconsciousness. Sign Why me up. Unconsciousness. You'll help me, won't you? I'll reward you on something. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, little one. You made an old man's heart want to fill with hope, which will happen as soon as this old man's ears are no longer filled with cotton to keep the darn noise down. Please don't dawdle now. I'm very old. Same. Some of us are trying to sleep. Show me his boob. I love it. Is that language? Are you talking to me? Uh, okay, I'm gonna end this conversation now. Bloob acquired. Perhaps the most useless creature in random, or so the powers that be would have us believe. We love the bloobs. We love the bloobs. We love Thank the bloobs. Yo! Swag. We love the bloobs. Everybody wants a bloob. Two towns in one! It's what we're meant to be! Closer. Okay. You, child. I believe we can be useful to each other. You're creepy. Um, do I know you? No, nor I you. But the threads of fate weave strange fabrics indeed. You see, I've noticed that you have a dice with you. Uh huh. Oh, that's not a dice. That's a dog in a costume. Right. A good axe, child. You'll need your wits to survive what's coming, I'd wager. Nah. So, let's say, hypothetically, you have a dice. Which, of course, you don't. Which means you, hypothetically, have experience in their identification and the true nature. Mm-hmm. I've heard tell of a dice circulating Celestry. Of course, it's been so long since a true dice has been here. People don't entirely recognize it for what it is. Uh-huh. And if these rumors were true, well, I dare say you could be the one to find it. Okay. The folks dimly sense it has value. They treat it as something rare and unique. Say, a fossil. Not knowing its true value. Its true nature. Naturally. I believe someone like yourself could trade for it. Or at the very least, trade up to it. Mm. Hypothetically, of course. And... If you did hypothetically succeed in possessing such a dice, oh, yeah. well, I'd oh, yeah. be interested, and I'd make it worth your while. Worth your while, indeed. Oh. Uh. Um, how am I supposed to find a second dice? I've heard stories around Cellar Street. There's all sorts of strange items for trade there. And if you can't find it directly, you could trade until you do. I've told you all I can. All except... Except? I've heard whispers that someone is buying words and someone else is selling them. Uh-huh. And that would be where I'd start. Make yourself useful, child. 
trade and trade until, before you know it, you've got your hands on one of those dangerous, awful, deadly dice. And then okay. you give it to me, and I will take care. I don't like the sound of that, but okay. Do 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 do. I got words for sale here. Choice word. I was wondering if you'd trade me your rarest word. My rarest word? Ha, that's a tall order. Um, what do you have to offer in trade? A joke. Let's hear it. Uh, why did the number six fear the number seven? Why? Because seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. Oh, seven, eight, nine. Ugh, keep that joke. I don't want it. What do you have to offer in trade? Um, a rare word? I'm listening. Uh, a word to be used when the planets align. It's Sissinji. when three or more celestial bodies line up in a straight line. I like the amount of whys in that word, but three or more planets. Oh, that's a hard sell here in Two Town. I think that's a pass from me. What do you have to offer in trade? An even rarer word? Well, your last one didn't do anything for me, but I'm listening. Word that describes the process of learning itself. It's ablubescence. It means enjoyment. How does a small girl like you know an adult word like that? Herman, an old junker in one town, taught me. Ablubescence. Oh, learning it is a pleasure. The breath of the essence sound, the mouth feel of adlu. Oh, the rarity of it. Oh, oh, this is a word I can definitely sell. Tell you what, I'll give you a great word in exchange to oblectament. Oblectament. Close. Oblectament. It means a source of delight. For example, learning adlubescence is an oblectament. Thank you again, kid. It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. Bye. It's been about oblectament doing business with you. Beautiful. Use it well, kid. Who wants to buy a word? I got plenty of a blectament. I mean, you're looking for a good home here. <laughs> so it was. Shrub, get your fresh shrub straight out of the tube. That's dinner for two. I threw any new trades while I was gone. Not the one. You. Wouldn't happen to have anything, would you? I've got a word I'll trade you for something. A word? Now that's interesting. I've never traded in words before. This could be a whole new marketplace. What's the word? Oblectament. Oh, that is a beautiful word. Oblectament. I would like some oblectament, please. Yes, it is a good word, and that means it has value. Any anything with value, I can trade. Oh, this is going to be great! Let me compensate you for that word by giving you a Gobblegregor in exchange. They're very futuristic. What is a Gobblegregor? Gobblegregor? <laughs> Imagine not knowing what a Gobblegregor is. Hilarious. You're all right, kid. Good sense of humor. Here's the Gubble Gregor. Just be sure not to use it in full reverse. We all know what happens then. We sure do. Great, kid. I like that it doesn't even show like a pic. Oh, it does. Never mind. 
One could couple Greg anything with this baby. One could also trade it in Cellar Street for something valuable. Um, what's your name, little dude? Really? Wow. Hey, heard any cool blue bloomers? Interesting. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay, little guy, in you go. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa! Okay. I've got a double gagger. Double gagger. This skull I'm offering is invaluable. It must be. It's darned old. Let's trade. Thank you. Here, have this uh, fossilized skull, I think. Strangely four sided. It must have come from some sort of ancient extinct animal. Big Red dug it up a while back before. Uh, forget it. It's not important. But this has got to be the rarest thing in all of Two Town. Thanks, kid. Okay. Do I get to see it? <gasps> but that's a dice. An old, long dead dice destroyed in the purge of the No Dice War. Lisbeth will want to see this. That was a very short trade quest. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? That's where I need to get. How do I get up there? This is not the way. This is not how I get there. How do I get up there? I think I know how to get there. Bloob! How's it hanging? Ha! Huh, classic bloob. Okay, I want to pick you up now. I got so many words, kid. Got a sale on bucolic right now if you're interested. Uh, hey guy. You have the ingredients! Brilliant! That's all I need. But please, pass them over. Remember, you did say you'd give them to me. No. What? I don't understand. I... <laughs> I knew it! I knew it was logical that you would choose me to be the dominant personality. That is what you want, isn't it? Yes. Good. Well, all that remains is to mix the ingredients, drink the resolution solution, and... Huh, I feel... different. Better? Uh, different. Definitely different. D -d -d don't feel bad. This was the logical course of action. Now, it's only fair that I give you this. A promised reward. It's my partner's personality distilled down to its pure essence. I hope you treat him well. I never could. He deserves more. He deserves better than I could give him. He deserves... Listen to me. As if being sentimental is logical. Thank you for your help. Okay. What I got, what I got, what I got. Oh. 
Neat. Um. Roll it. The door would never open unless, unless maybe, just maybe, Dicey could somehow get a third pip in this town. Just maybe. Uh, I have a dubious fossilized skull I think you might be interested in. Impossible! Let me see that. By the card makers themselves, this is a dice. Oh, rather, it was a dice. Hello! You didn't think you'd find one? I expected How goes? This poor dice has seen so much <sighs> and come to such an ignominious end. At the hands of her majesty. I want to say thank you, child. It's been so long since I've seen a dice, even one that's dead like this. <sighs> that alarms you, doesn't it? Yes, dice can die. We found that out in the No Dice War. All good, booms. Oh. I appreciate all of yous. You're a warrior? Consider me a, a concerned bystander. The queen child decided that she should be the only one to wield the dice. And so she waged war on them and on those who'd wield them. And she did not show mercy in victory. If what a bad she finds out there's still a dice and still a wielder, well, she will be apoplectic, and she is not to be toyed with. What happened here, she'll do to you and your friend here. It's not a threat, little one. It's an observation, gleaned from hard-earned experience. Hypothetically speaking, that is. But don't worry, your secret is safe with me. As for this poor dice, I'm going to return it to where it belongs, to the sacred valley of the dice. Wait, you've been there? I have. It used to be so different. There are some of us who remember the old ways, child. We must stay hidden, and we must stay silent. But we exist. The valley is hidden, far below random, and far from the Queen's prying eyes. It's a crypt, a land of the dead, forbidden to all but a few who remember. Yeah. Wide ways. You don't fully know what you travel with. Yeah, I'm traveling with a friend. I'm glad to hear it. I hope you are. Goodbye, child. Take care and random rules. Uh huh. Random rules. Uh, all this tuners reminds me of odd. I promise you, sister, I am coming for you. Boo, boo, boo. Up. Oh. Cutscene time? As she looked up, even began to realize the two towns' name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. 
they seem to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. Oh, we love this guy. Huh? <laughs> Ice? Where did you come from, little one? My father? Let him go! That's right, you better smarten up and look where you're going, or I'll... Well, <laughs> you're very angry for someone so small. I'm not small. You're a big clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It, it was an accident. <sighs> All right, apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. <gasps> Name Seymour. I haven't seen your sister, though. The thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And not since the nanny confiscated most of my eyes. Two of them for two town, she said. Why'd she take them? Nanny Fortuna is the right hand of the queen, and has been for years. She's as mean as she is old. And let's just say she doesn't take kindly to people borrowing her super pricey mechanical spider wagon. <laughs> anyway, once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. Wait, I know her. She's the one that took my sister. Seems like we both have a reason not to like her. The Civil War and freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there. Treason. Anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> not enough about that. What's up with this? Dice! I haven't seen a real one in years! I see you're. Missing a couple of pips, little one. If you're gonna go anywhere. Why can't I simply walk through the door to three them? You are new, aren't you? The door to three towns forever locked. It keeps the district separate by order of the queen. You by need order of the queen. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three. I could fix you. But... But... But I can't. Not unless I get my missing eyes back. Oh, if only a brave dice wielder would find it in her heart of glory to begin a quest to find and return my eyes. <sighs> can I just paint the dot on Dicey instead? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Listen, even if things were that easy, do you think we'd all be here? Heck no. We'd all be in Six Town, living the high life, relaxing by, uh, by whatever it is that Six Towners relax by. A pool of gold, probably. Sadly, it's not that easy, even. <laughs> Especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that nightmare of a mayor so yeah find my eyes and i can definitely help you so okay you'll help out old seymour i'll help out old seymour thank you thank you be careful with that two-faced mayor okay if you need me i'll be over at the town square near the door to freedom i better go talk to the mayor even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad, large monster, he'd been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too. <gasps> yeah! Friendship! Second moon is truly beautiful. Why should we stop here? What if we had a second second moon? Hello 
Uh, hello, I'm Even. Well met, Even. I am the mayor. Well, one of them, at least. At last, Even had arrived at the mayor of Two Town, the administrator of this land, and the alleged thief of Seymour's eyes. Or at least, Even had arrived at his lower extremities. What brings you to my office today, Even? I'm trying to find my sister and some stolen eyes. You're trying to blind your mister with your swollen thighs? No, I'm trying to find my sister and some stolen eyes. Mine a twister or some colon guys? Find my sister and some stolen eyes. Grind your why don't you take the elevator and step into my office, even? It'll be easier to talk. Yeah. That's a good idea. So just talking to your legs. It's so beautiful, the upside down town. It's so beautiful! Oh, it's so beautiful, the upside down town. Shining city in the sky. The upside down town. Look at this Abraham Lincoln motherfucker. Yes, yes, hello. Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this? I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand, and then one day he was just there. Oh. I've always been here. Right. Royal. We keep our voices down, even if we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. It's, it's sure name is Royal. It's Mayor Backwards. Becoming personified now. Personalities are getting their own bodies now? That's what Royam is. He's growing out of my hat and I don't know how to stop him. Take your hat off. I don't know how to fix this town even. And I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. In any case, what brings you to the mayor today? What's that growing out of your hat? What's that little girl? You want to know how our first past the post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. Mayor, spelled backwards. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Anyway, Royam is my opposite side. He's much more um, self-assured than I am, which normally would be great. But the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. Fair enough. Why are you letting him boss you around? Because he serves the Nanny Fortuna. We both do. Whatever she wants, he's ready to do. And therefore, he deserves to be listened to. He's my opposite. But at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about Two Town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. Hmm. I have a couple of questions. What's going on with the construction? Oh, that's, um, that's the Queen's idea. She wants us to build a second two town. Duality and all that. It'll be glorious, of course. Everything the Queen does is glorious. But, uh, well, it just seems to be that it's taking its time to get to that glory and, well, uh, never mind. I am speaking out of turn. 
Come on, have a spine! Oh, the queen always knows best. It's like Nanny Fortuna says. The queen rules by the grace of her black dice. And the black dice never lies. True enough. Um... Have you seen my sister Odd? She looks kind of like me. No, I'm afraid not. You're the first tourist we've had in quite some time. Have you considered spending some time in currency down the wonderful Cellar Street? I have. Couldn't miss it even if I wanted to. Oh, good. As mayor, I expect that should make me happy. We've got a new slogan, you know, straight from Nanny Fortuna. It's two town where the fun is doubled. So twice the fun. That's something to look forward to. Yeah. Uh, did you take my friend Seymour's eyes? I'm... I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But... But... Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Royan directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name. But, well, you need my help. And this is all I can do. I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, even. It's your choice. And good luck. Okay. Th thanks, guy. Um... Hey, Spooky! Greetings. My name is Royan, and I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so... Uh, big. Big? That doesn't rhyme with charge. You're clearly new at this. You seem to struggle with rhyming. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh, uh, Juggle? Stop interrupting me. I almost have it. Ah! I thought the other guy down there was the mayor. Him, the mayor? Don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my... Staff? Yes, I was about to say that. You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... Drool? <laughs> Look, you've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming. I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me. What do you want? Um, look, I know you have Seymour's eyes. Can't we make a deal? Why should I deal with you? I am the designer. Builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor oversees. You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? I do. Good. Very good. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. Uh huh. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real, real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do. Nothing and not? Ha! 
you wish, but that's not the prize at which I'll sell. I'll let them go if you teach me how to rhyme. Competently. Here's my offer, take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Okay. Reprieve. Oh, you are good. If I come up with a perfect moon poem, you'll give me the eyes? Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. Where did you come from? My origins are as amazing as they are obscure. All you need to know is that I am a successful... Business person and mayor? Stop interrupting my poetry! Goodbye, Royam. Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get... Cooked. Thanks for the unsolicited advice. Mm. We love Royam. It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. There were some particular propaganda posters hanging on the walls. Perhaps those could be of inspiration. I love any character and anything that rhymes. Big fan. Annie, how'd you get here? Tastes like strawberries. Tastes like blueberries. Uh oh. This one got a shield. I don't like that. Get new crystals. Um, what do we got? Two. It's got me a shield. Get me a free sword.
owned. Oh, what? Um. Owned. Bonk. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, shit. That was my sword breaking. Card. Up, 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 bam. Ow. You pop my bubble! Oh, Jesus. Um, let's pen it. Bubble. Increase that by 30 seconds. And fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. And Donzo. Oh, come on! Where'd that D20 go? That just fucking vanish?
Come on, motherfuckers. What you got? Got nothing. Got nothing. Bada bing bada fucking boom! Hey, buddy. Grace, I was pinned down by those those vile machines, but now they're scrap. <laughs> so thank you. The name's Big Red. Oh, I heard about you. I'm glad to have helped. Ah, playing it mysterious. Not telling me your name. I can respect that. I'll call you Big Mystery. Big Red and Big Mystery here in Two Town. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this this horrible place, Big Mystery? I'm looking for my sister and also some eyes. Afraid I can't help with either of those, but I got a life here. A precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again. I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother, name a little Joe. Um, uh, think I've met him. Oh, you remember? Looks just like me. Only he's a jerk. I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me. His own twin sister. <sighs> now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. You must be so mad at him. I was for sure and I was of two minds about it for a long time but now I'm just tired I know what he did was wrong and I know he knows it too he probably feels really guilty about it but I don't want revenge I just want to leave I just want to go fair home. I understand and now I can oh thank you you really made a difference in my life big mystery oh please take this it's my way of saying thanks I'm finally free! Neat. What'd you give me? What'd you give me? Oh, money? Okay. Uh, inspiration for rhymes and poetry lurks between the lines of this otherwise unremarkable poster. They said it wasn't possible. They said it was a lie. Meet Miss Mystique from Papo's Wild Circus. The woman with three personalities. Hmm. Miss? I could use that word. Howdy, I'm Bill. You got a visitor visitor's permit to this construction site? Uh, definitely. Can I see it? No? It's just as I suspected. You're on official business for the mayor. Ain't no other explanation. Nobody else but authorized workers are allowed here. What can I do for you? Royam? The mayor? Ah, yes. Our esteemed mayor. More like nightmare. Works us like a slave driver. Push some of us off the edge if we don't do a good enough job. Say, you don't know anything about anti-gravity, do you? Sorry, Bill. It's impossible. Well, that's disappointing to hear. But I guess we still have these straps, right? These good, old, hopefully reliable straps. All day long, hanging upside down like a bat. Only a bat that's forced to do manual labor. I don't think I'll ever escape them. Well, better get back to work. Time's a-wasting.
Let's get that real quick, because that's an optional thing. First for whatever. It's nice. A good night's sleep is every evening's prize. Sleep twice as well when you wear sleeping eyes. Sleeping eyes? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Game Master's beard, what are you doing up here, kid? What are you doing here? This is an active construction site. We have work to do here, kid. I'm even. Can I ask you some questions? It doesn't matter what your name is. You can't be here, kid. Look, we're all under a tight schedule here. I can't stop work just to escort you home. So, if you, if you, if you, if you promise not to die or otherwise interfere with our work here, I, I'll answer some questions for you, okay? Sounds good. But by the card makers, we can't have kids wandering around an active work site. Yeah, this place seems kind of dangerous. Come on, get going before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. This is definitely not OSHA compliant. In the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. Construction is on schedule. Of course it is. I'm the best there is in this construction. Hangs like it's in the sky like a jewel. I'm so ha glad to be part of it. Listen to Crooner Harry Harry's new double length record. Inspired by the new moon of Two Town, it's twice as good as his last album, Crew. That's, that's a nice poetic word. A feast for the senses, a balm for the body, a spiritual bouquet. You simply have to try Crazy Cryptid's Chopped Cheese Blue. Now half price every second Tuesday. Huh. Spiritual bouquet. It's a nice turn of phrase. There. Mm -hmm. Even had all the materials she needed to face <coughs> William in a battle of rhymes. But did she have the skill? Well, there was only one way to find out. She wasn't sure if she was ready. But on the other hand, she wasn't at all certain she'd ever be. So she did the only thing she could. She went for it. This is it, Ethan. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. Miss. Perfect. Yes. Let us begin. We shall pluck the wings from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from two towns. Sleeping eyes. Yes. Oh, I like that very much. Let's proceed. And we shall be made minions of the moon who look forward to everything the mayor does. Croon. Yes. There's no rule that says a poem can't talk up the poet song. Well done. Now, last verse. And we shall always swear by the two moons, for they change each day. The upside down town is the only place that offers such a spiritual bouquet. Such perfect rhymes for a perfect moon. I think, I think I have it, yes. Well done, little poet. You have earned yourself quite a boon. Um. 
Wait, what are you going to use this poem for? Oh, I am constantly growing, building my body to become a real being. Poetry, on the other hand, this is what will truly separate me from my shallow other side. What about my my reward? You said you'd give me Seymour's eyes. Oh, but of course. I promise you I would dig into that matter. Meanwhile, I want to give you something else. The highest honor in this land. I grant you access to the second moon's staging grounds. Few have ever had the good fortune to tread on that hallowed ground. Go there, admire it, and then I will give you what you seek. Hmm, this seems like a trap, but okay. Build, build my city in the sky. Go on, don't be shy. We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. Beautiful, I guess, in its own sort of strange way. Oh, Manny, where would we be without you? Um, Golden pin, nice damage. Ooh, good stuff. Okay. So this was the famed second moon, Mayor Royam's masterpiece. It kind of sucked. It was actually kind of a trap. Yeah. Uh, the goal of this board game is to reach the final tile with the playing piece, wrecking Royam's moon. Three arenas must be beaten in order to reach the end. Sometimes a card will appear, spawning an adversary blocking your playing piece's advance. The card is removed once this adversary is defeated. Step on this platform and you will receive a bow of one. Or bring the playing piece to this tile and a flock of bomb carrying birds will fly over the arena. They drop bombs either if you're under them or if you shoot them. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. Ba 
This music is so dramatic. I love it. Two. Okay. Uh, let's get a little shield. Because we love the shield. Um... Double sword. Ow. Ow. Damn, is my sword broken already? Fuck. Um. The playing piece has opened a doorway. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. Yeah, okay. Ha ha. Thanks for the free bow, idiots! I guess they had to do this just in case, like... Okay, just... In case you've removed all the bows from your fucking deck. You gotta be like, well, how is she gonna... Kill enemies. Oh, hey. Um. Wow, that's not a helpful hand. Can I get this back? No. That was a one and done. Please give me something good. Give me something good. Okay, well. Do that and that. And that <sighs> wrong button. A new opening has been opened. Okay, yeah.
Thank you, bad camera angle. Bing bada boom. Ow. That's right, I can have both the sword and the... Piece is blocked by an adversary. I can't have both the sword and the bow. Oh fuck, that changes everything. For some reason I thought you could only have one at a time, because they both count as a weapon, but... Shield up. Let's get silly with it. Well, the D20 just fucked off. That's unfortunate. Come the bombers, more bombers. Ow. Wow. They weren't kidding about the bombers. Nearing 
Give me more bubble. Give me more bubble. Where did the D20 go? Why did my money number go down? Whoopsie. Even had a feeling she had broken the moon, and that somehow Mayor Royam wasn't too happy about that. Feeling confirmed. Lol. Oh, he does have legs. And he separated from the mayor. Even what did you do? At one moment, Royam was a part of me, overseeing the construction. And in the next, he tore himself free. In went off howling at the moon. There's no saying what he's capable of now that he's free from my influence. Um, I taught him to rhyme and then he tried to kill me. You taught him to rhyme? Oh no, there's no telling what he'll do now. Be very careful, even. I don't know what happens next. We're I do. We're in territory here. Whatever you do. Be careful. What happens next is I kick his ass. Obvi. Oh, I've got cars to trade. Don't you want to follow suit? I know you do. Hey, give me poison, baby. Sword, bow, come on, punk. Give me bubbles, give me bubbles.
Cause I know you're poison, you feel me poison. What? I need dodge. Ow, ow. Ah. That's the way you got me out of your house. My story's gonna end with me dead from your poison. I love the character design. I know I've said this about literally everyone and everything. I love the character design of the robots. They look very fucking cool. I love the character design of the Shadow Man there. Very fucking cool. Bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Oh, you can shoot down their shots? I did not know that. Ow. Sword. Oh. Woo! Even's like, yeah, who the fuck else wants some? Money, money, money. Nothing bad oh, can happen no here. Bad, even, you little monster. Royam. Come here into a town full of strangers, and the first thing you do is destroy my beautiful moon. Oh, even you've made me very angry. Look, if you just give me the eyes, I'll. These eyes? You want I guess. me to give them to you? I'm not giving you anything, child. But you promised. When I gave you rhymes, you said I earned them. And oh, you have earned something. Take a deep breath, even, because it's the last thing you'll ever take from anyone. Genuinely terrifying. Foolish little girl, you're going to lose because I rhyme tight when I follow my <laughs> personified force of creativity. I was going to say that. Quiet! Stop robbing me of my rhymes before I get to them. Only I may ride this lyrical flow. Got it? Crush <laughs> her!
Ow. Ow. I did that bad. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Ow! Why am I so bad at that? There we go. Potion. Another potion. I'll take a sword. Alright. Time to rhyme, battle. I hope your loved ones are ready to cry. Because in a few moments, you're going to... Dang it. That is good. Birds! Stupid fucking birds! Ow, I'm not doing well this fight. Okay, okay, what do we got? What do we got? One, not great. Come on. There we go. I hope people won't think you're too shoddy when they discover that you are dead. Uh... One hit protection. Nope. Oh, that one worked? That shouldn't have worked. Oh, he's still taking damage from the poison right you now. You thought you were a knight, but you're a knave. And I'm gonna send you to an early, uh, early death hole. Grave, you have to be doing this on purpose. I was getting there. I was gonna get there in one second.
komm. Okay, I was wondering how long that fucking poison was gonna last. It went way longer than I thought it would have. Something dangerous. Give me something that hurts some, please. Poisoned idiot. Get poisoned idiot. Get poisoned idiot. My head, that I'm the reason to soon be. No, no, I won't go back. I can't go back. It's not fair. Well, don't look at me because I don't fucking care. Eyes just bounce on the f oh, on the ground. Gross. Gross. That's not sanitary. That's not sanitary at all. The colossal and terrifying upside down mayor was now stored inside a different and nicer mayor's head. Even in Dicey had done an excellent job. Wonderful. And I was doing an excellent job narrating it. Not that they'd ever realize. Ah, uh, We did it, Dicey! Woo! Actually, if you don't mind, I do have a few questions. Uh, were you always this great at dice battle? You can fight because of me? I'm just rolling with the punches. Uh... Let's agree that we're both great at breaking the Queen's giant board games. Are you ready for Threedom, Dicey? Imagine a war that's been going on for that long. How much can you actually fit inside yourself? I suppose Seymour's eyes aren't bigger than the bombs you keep in there. Uh, 
Okay, Dicey, let's move on. Even was learning the world was even stranger and more threatening than in the stories her mother told her. But she was also learning that she didn't have to face it completely alone. Well, I'm glad you're on my side, Dicey. Now, all Even and Dicey had to do was return the eyes to see more. With his vision restored, he'd be able to give Dicey his third pip, which would be all they needed to open that infernal, mysterious gate to Three Town. Yeah! Oops, that's the wrong button. Two large googly eyes belonging to Seymour, the Pipnician. They're pretty squishy. They'd made it. Even in Dicey had survived. And what's more, defeated Royum, the dark side of the mayor. But the journey was far from over. Sorry, I'll oh, be quiet now. Yeah, I just get so carried away sometimes. It's just so exciting being a storyteller, you know? <laughs> okay, okay. Now, I'll be going. We love it. We love the narrator. Oh. It is good to be whole once again. Um. Why would you want to keep those awful parts? Uh, the key parts of that awful man? Because he's a part of me. If you cut off a limb, you'd want it back too, wouldn't you? I guess. Furthermore, I think I've learned mediocre poetry. Thank you for your help, even. Oh, hello! Welcome! I'm doing all right, yourself? I think I understand, Mr. Mayor. Without him. I'm not the same, but with him, I'm accomplished. He says hello, by the way, Eve. He says he hopes to see you again, very soon. Um, it's been a strange time being here. It's been a very strange time for us here, too, even. But in saving the stream's us, going all right. I'm actually just about to wrap it up um i think because i just got to uh is good a pretty good point um i have questions uh are you going to stand up to the queen now i'll represent the people of my town i'm shutting down the moon building project it's the least i can do from there on we shall see yeah, sorry, you popped in right at the end. Um, alright, goodbye, Mr. Man. Goodbye, even. You will always have my thanks. But, this room is starting to get hot. Um... I try and stream every Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, I'm gonna be starting another stream as well. These are terrible. I'll edit them out later. I'm gonna be starting another stream day shortly, but I haven't decided on what day yet. What the fuck is that thing you've got next to you, Seymour? Hey, what happened? I heard a ruckus. Oh, my peepers and weepers! Oh, I've missed you so much! <laughs> oh. Ah, much better. Hell yeah. And as for those pips, if you don't mind, it just takes a little precision, the utmost finesse, and... <laughs> Done! Good as new, little buddy! Hell yeah. Uh, besides streaming, I don't do much. Um, I'm disabled, so I can't really work like a regular ass job. Uh, thanks for rep repairing my friends, Seymour. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you for helping me properly see you again. 
Nice. Could you add even more pips to Dicey? Uh, I mean, I suppose I could. There is room for more. All over random there are mythical creatures hiding from the clutches of the queen. Difficult to find, but they may have some. Keep your eyes peeled, and senses even sharper even. Oh, and remember, all this dice business? Shh, it's our secret. So, what are you gonna do now? Um, I'm gonna roll a three over that giant door for starters. The old one step at a time approach, eh? Well, that's a healthy way to approach the unknown. Well, I wish you well on your next adventure. And uh, if I could give you some semi solicited advice. Sure, bud. Every roll of the dice matters, but not every roll counts. That's weird and cryptic. Isn't it, though? It's so fun. Bye, even. I'll miss you. But I'm sure we'll see each other again in far off places. I do play horror games on occasion. Um, it's been a minute since I've done that. Um, but I have in the past played like some Resident Evil, um, Dead Space, and a bunch of other stuff. Who knew what adventures awaited her there? The answer is me. I do. I'm the narrator. But for even and Dicey, the adventure was just beginning. <gasps> and even yeah. sister is still out there, somewhere, lost in random. <gasps> That's the name of the game! Um, wait, what? This is not my dice. This is, am I odd? Um, I mean, I've streamed Resident Evil 4. I've streamed, like I said, Dead Space. Um, I've streamed a couple other things. Um, if you want to take a look, uh, down below. Oh shit, thanks for the follow! Um, down below there's a link to my YouTube channel where I do original content of Let's Play stuff and I archive most of my streams. Um, and you can see there, uh, all the stuff I've done. I make nifty little playlists of everything. Upside down. What happened here? Oh, one, one craft. It looks just like I remember. Even. From New Jersey, living in Ohio. It's amazing anyone can live inside that chaos. Tombs? Mom used to tell me stories about the card makers. I wonder if they were true. We love tubes. Home, I guess. Don't touch that. Uh oh. You mustn't ever touch that odd. Ever. Never touch it again. Okay. But, but what's this model of Sextopia for? Why do you have it? I have it. Because I desire it, Odd. You're twelve. There are things you don't understand yet. Anyway, forget it. Because I have something for you, Odd. Something special. 
Ooh, what is it? Can I have it? No, you can't have anything. But you can earn it. <gasps> Go on, try it. I had it made just for you. Oh, spooky. Spooky. Ominous. Very ominous. Above even was one of the queen's royal spiders. Uh-oh. Taken away on. on that terrifying night, they were the collectors of children who were to become sixers. <sighs> uh -oh. Come on, Dicey. We can't let it get away. Okay, so with that, um, I'm actually going to call it here. Um, because we're headed to Freedom, which seems like a perfect spot to call this stream. So... Thanks for watching, y'all. I love you very much, and I'll see you next time. Uh, remember, Black Lives Matter, defund the police. Uh, bye bye